Belfast, Maine is a city that cares about its environment. Located on beautiful Penobscot Bay, the city has become a favored location destination for visitors from throughout the United States and many foreign countries who appreciate its lovely harbor and clean environment. The beauty of the bay and its surroundings has also helped attract businesses and new residents to locate in Belfast. It may be hard to believe when you look at it now, but Belfast was not always known for its beautiful harbor. Only a few decades ago, sardine and poultry industries dominated the waterfront. Belfast was known for foul smells and oily sheen of fish and chicken processing refuse dumped directly into the bay. Thankfully, city leadership saw the possibilities of a brighter future a clean and healthy bay could bring. Several decades ago, a new sewage treatment plant was built, and changes in the local economy, along with enforcement of the Federal Clean Water Act, meant fish and poultry plants no longer polluted the bay. As the waters of the bay cleared, local residents have come to appreciate what a wonderful treasure we have in our clean environment. But our bay remains in danger. The world's oceans and our own Penobscot Bay are seeing an alarming new threat in the form of plastics. Plastics created by man have proven to be a very persistent environmental threat on land and in our oceans. One reason is that plastics don't easily biodegrade. Take, for example, the single-use plastic bag. These bags can take up to a thousand years to degrade. Oh, they deteriorate by breaking up into smaller and smaller pieces, but they never really disappear. You may be surprised to know that in a typical liter of Penobscot Bay water, there are an average of 17 plastic fragments. These fragments may be small, even too small to be seen by the naked eye, but many are just the right size to be strained by filter-feeding creatures of our bay, such as the blue mussels. Recent research has revealed a marked decline in natural beds of blue mussels, and research is being done to determine what is causing the decline. But one must be concerned that the consumption of plastics by marine organisms may eventually be having negative effects on the delicate ecosystem of Penobscot Bay, including the environment of mussels and other marine creatures. A group of Belfast citizens concerned about the negative effects of single-use plastic bags has initiated a campaign called Ban the Bag in Belfast to protect the local environment by eliminating the widespread use of the bags in the city. Over 600 million single-use plastic bags are used in Maine each year, and of those, less than 6% are recycled. This leaves millions of bags that end up in landfills, incinerators, or as litter on our waterways and along roads. What can be done? Several Maine communities have already taken action toward the goal of reducing plastic bag pollution by encouraging the use of reusable shopping bags. Some have banned single-use plastic bags from grocery stores, while others have banned their use throughout the retail businesses of their community. Others have opted to charge customers five cents for single-use plastic bags in order to encourage the use of reusable shopping bags. Local residents are already discussing which approach will be best for Belfast, and all interested persons are encouraged to join the discussion. If you are interested in learning more about this citizen-initiated action, we encourage you to become involved with Ban the Bag in Belfast. Visit the Ban the Bag Belfast Facebook page or send an email to bandthebaginbelfast at yahoo.com with any questions or to volunteer to help. We all benefit from a clean, healthy bay and environment. Let's all work together to make sure it stays that way.